Will we agree there's nothing worse than being outdoors, you're tired, cold and need a pick-me-up than a hot cuppa? The back story, I started my outdoor love at the early age of about 78, living in a rural part of Northumberland. Then 20 odd years around the world with the army, I honed my skills. To be honest, some of the experiences at the time wasn't too hot to love, but I think you get the drift. 50 years later, as my old bones still love the outdoors, but alas, only in good weather. Well, welcome to my stash. Apart from the vintage spirit stoves, I think about five, let's look at stove burners in more in depth. Off the bat, I can break down all the stove burners. Could be used with multi-cook sets to cook food and boil water. They are stoves with only one means of power, i.e. gas. Solid fuel only. Multi liquid fuel, and finally, multi fuel stoves, solid spirit fuels, or wood or spirit fuels. All stoves and burners are viewed on my channel. I'll link the playlist or separate videos in the description below. Okay, let's look at the Coleman 533. It's become a vintage item, it runs on multi liquid fuel and I use unleaded petrol. Once upon a time, this was my go-to stove in camping, bike rallies, and fishing, etc. Moving on, looking at the two gas stoves now. The blue one is a vintage gas stove. I think it was about 1975 or whereabouts, and it still works. Moving on to this, the small one, the Soto Amicus, tiny. Once it's uh, fitted to the gas, it, it makes it really sturdy. Breaking a brew was the fastest time on all. On all. Baking a brew was the fastest time on all the uh, stoves. But there's a surprising stove in the collection that I actually give a run for its money. Comment below which one. And also, stick around at the end to find out. Well, we'll look at the solid fuel burners now. Back in the day, army days, and up to 2023, this army stove and the mess tins was nostalgic for me. But, as of 1st of October 2023, in the UK, hexamine tablets are regulated as an explosive pre precursor are subject to the laws. Possession of hexamine in any concentration become legal with a maximum sentence with possession of two years or a fine. Moving on swiftly onto the Swiss Meta 70 stove. What can I say? My uh, collection habit got uh, overrun. Yeah, and all I can say, it brewed a small cover. <laughs> now, let's look at the two army burners, which is the Mark 1 and 2. Uh, primary, they are primarily our solid fuel systems. But, I found a Tangier burner fits inside making it a multi-fuel. The Hyman Spirit Burner, just like the Tangier, but cheaper. At the moment, I'm using meths or 99% isopropanol, but meths gives out the smell. Moving on, I thought I think anybody's seen this one. The Tangier 27-2 cook set is probably the all-rounder set. 
pans and kettles store in the base and makes it smaller for space. And finally, one of the most enjoyable stoves I have initially used was as a wood burner, but I tried to a Tangier stove in, in, inside. As I probably mentioned, pots and pans and the kettles alternate to my liking or what I've got, what I've brought to use. Now, I asked my WhatsApp group to pick up, out two of the go-to uh, stoves or the systems and putting it in a small backpack, obviously one spare, just in case. Now let's find out. Number one. Back to the hot cover then. Whether just going to an area you're allowed to set up, this little setup can be stored in a small backpack. What am I talking about? The Hikeman liquid fuel burner with stand and belly can cup with handle and lid. I can't remember where I got the grate I put over the burner. To be honest, I wasn't timing anything as you do. Once the burner got up to the working temperature, maybe it's about five minutes to boil the water. Number two. Welcome to the second go-to uh, stove. I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be brewing a cover. It is the Mark II UK Army one, but I haven't got any solid fuel. But I'm going to use the Tangier burner. So, though faffing on, Brian. Let's get into it. And that's the boiling pot. And obviously there is the Mark II with the Tangier. As you can see, I've got the fired brick underneath. And once I saw a uh, set up, I've got a fan over it. So what I'll what I'll do, I put it in the tripod and I will uh, prime the burner and get back to you. Right ladies and gentlemen, the uh, burner is primed, so let's get into a brew. Yeah. 
There you go. Thank you. And I'll catch you later. Definitely a boiler. Like I say, not the fastest uh, boiler in the world, or the stove in the world, but mm. beautiful. So, remembering on earlier on, there was a question that a certain stove put the Soto in the frame for the fastest boil. But there's a surprising stove in the collection that I actually give a run for its money. Comment below which one. And before I go, I hope this is entertaining. Look at the description below and I've tried my best to uh, link any items in the UK obviously. And I will catch you all later. Happy outdoors. Catch you all later.